guys and welcome to this week's video. This week I'll be showing you how I made my Prickle comic series. Now this comic is known as Four Coma. It's essentially four panels in a comic. It's a little bit different to comic strips because the panels are in a square and the panels particularly tend to be square shaped. Um, this is a very popular um, trope that is done in Japan as far as I'm aware. I've not really seen it anywhere else. Um, it's a very uh, popular type of comic format and you can get some manga which are like this. Um, and when I wanted to do something that was a little bit fun, a little bit different, I wanted to do this Prickles comic. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because it was a simpler way for me to have something out that I already could push out um, to promote the Plant Witch and the Mushroom Hunters universe. Now the Prickles comic is a fairly short comic. Now the one that you see me working on here is comic panels for book number two. Now, book number two is very much like book number one. It has little comics all about prickles and it's very simple. I have the square panels, I work on them traditionally, I colour them in traditionally as well. I did them all grayscale as if they were a grayscale comic um, because when I did this at the time, I did not have screen tone. My friend recently has given me some screen tone to try out. So if you would like to see me try out doing a comic with screen tone, let me know in the comment section down below. So as always, I simply just map out what I want to do. Always plan your comics, always plan your panels way beforehand. Um, trial and error, your first one is not going to be perfect. Think about the action, think about how the comic is going to work and you'll be able to really push through on that. You'll be able to really look and try and make your panels a little bit more interesting. Think about your line of action, how is it going to translate? Because remember you've only got four panels to tell a story and that can be very very difficult because you've only got four panels and in these in particular there is no text and that can be quite difficult as well. Um, the reason why I chose to do a no text four panel comic is because I wanted something that not only people of all ages could enjoy but it was simple and easy enough to understand. This is very a very child friendly comic. There is no cursing, there is no violence, unless you count violence to leaves, um, and there is nothing in there that is going to cause anything, you know, you know, in any way, shape or form. So in case you're wondering what equipment I use, I use my Winsor & Newton slash Electroset Pro markers as always. I'm also using my mixed media paper, I'm using Canson mixed media paper here. And as for fine liners, I'm simply using my Unipin fine liners. I recently found a really nice brush version of the Unipin fine liner. And I'm thinking of doing a brush pen comparison video. So if you are interested in that, yet again, let me know in the comments section down below. So when working on this, especially when you're working in grayscale, you've got to try and make it so that you're not overloading the panels. In particular, at the moment, this looks really good with Prickles being white in the background. And that's because the attention is drawn to him. I believe I add a little bit of gray to the background just so that it wasn't so plain. Um, I didn't want to have overcomplicated backgrounds as to draw attention to the character itself. This really helps sell your character design. There are many different types of comics. You have your four coma style comics, you have your comic strips, you have your comic uh, storybooks, which is a combination of children's storybook telling and comic books. And there are other formats as well. You may know the manga format, you may know the comic format. It's all about looking and understanding what kind of style of comic you're going to go for. And this is the simplest way. So if you are ever looking at into doing comics this is the simplest way it's the easiest comic format to do and you can produce them fairly quickly you want a very quick scenario so in this prickles see leaves prickles jumps into leaves and he's annoyed marie because he's got leaves everywhere that is very very simple you just want to keep the story format in them very simple because if you try and over complicate the four panels it is very difficult to tell a story in those four panels but once you've got the simplicity down it makes life a lot easier now 
there is always something when it comes to comics that um, puts people off a little bit and that is where do I put the dialogue? Now this would be very very simple if you're looking at the image you want the image to go around the dialogue so when you're planning make sure you're planning a sufficient enough space where the dialogue is going to go. You don't want it over going over some art after all you want the art to stand out and that is absolutely fine. Plan, plan, plan. The more planning you do the better it becomes. You can also see here I'm lighting up some areas, making sure anything pops and making it nice and bright and that is really really simple to do. Now these pages don't take too long from planning to final product, it's around about two, about an hour or two per comic page depending on the complexity of the background and the overall piece. It can sometimes take me a little bit longer and that's just my brain and the way it works. So this is what the original um, sketch looked like and my original idea and this is the finalized product and as you can see I very loosely sketch is because I already knew what I was doing but if I was thumbnailing these I'd probably thumbnail them three or four times before I'd actually go to the finalized product so I hope this has been a little bit helpful in some way shape or form and as you can see there are plenty of comic pages here that I've worked on and this is all for the new volume 2 comic of Prickles which I'm very excited will be at London Comic Con this month. I am very very excited to share this out. Um, and it's just been a lot of fun to do and introduce new characters and carry on the series and I can't wait to really get in with Plant Witch and show you what I've worked on with that. So I'm going to give you a few looks at the books now. Alright okay so it's going towards the end of the video and I'm just going to show you what's the final printed product and I'm really really happy with it. Um, I use a printed company called Mixam, which is M-I-X-A-M. Um, they are a printing service based in the UK and I really have enjoyed a lot of their work that they've done so far. Other sites that I've used in the past have been Solo Press and other sites that have been recommended are Printed.com. There's also Comic Printing UK, there's also uh, also merchandise. There's plenty of places in the UK that if you are looking at printing your own comic or printing your own art book, you can go with them. Um, now, I've chosen the original, uh, the format I ended up on was 14 by 14 centimeters. I think it was 14.7 by 14.7. Um, so it comes to this size. Now, the old size was this big, and as you can see, it is a bit of a size difference, but I just think that this is more manageable. Um, it's a lot smaller, the pictures look a lot better, I'm a lot happier with the way that this print format has come out. Now, there's several things to look at when you are printing. Make sure your page formatting is correct. Make sure you've left the right amount of bleed, because if you don't leave the right amount of bleed, there's a chance that your art can get cut off. And make sure you don't leave anything too important on the edges if you want the illustration edge to edge. There's a lot I can go into when it comes to making comics, but making the full Chroma comic series is possibly the simplest and the easiest way to get started into comics. Um, if you are interested in doing comic series in the future, these are a lot of fun to do and I do 100% recommend doing them. Even if it's just a silly story, it really, really helps to tell a story and it is difficult to tell a story in four panels. It's trying to show what's important and what's not important in the overall section and not overload the pages either. You don't want to do that. Um, if you guys want any more comic tips or would like to see more comic process in the future, let me know in the comments section down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it a little bit informative. I know I harp on about comics a lot and it's a really huge important part to me as an indie comic developer. And if you want to see some of my favourite comics, uh, if you want to see some of my favourite books which are all here on this shelf, all these amazing people who inspire me um, I'm more than welcome to show you that but I'm happy to announce that these will be available at London Comic Con at, um, which is next weekend holy smokes That's so quick um, but yeah these will be available at London Comic Con and there will be a store update um, happening after London Comic Con just because I don't have time before the event but these are the books I'm really really happy with them and I hope you guys like them too I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, keep drawing have lots of fun but most importantly stay creative bye